365 days, 365 messages God has in store for you in each day. Great is our God, written by Fernando Savala. Come, join us. Let's see what God has in store for you. Hello, beloved. Today is Thursday, April 21st, 2022. Today's devotional is titled, He Did Not Quit Mid-Journey. Join me for a prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for all that you do for us. Sometimes we're just too busy running around in life with all these cares. But we ask that we take this moment and pause and to meditate in all that you have done for us. We bless you and we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our scripture reading for today is taken from the book of Luke, chapter 23, verses 44 to 46. And it reads, Now it was about the sixth hour, and there was darkness all over the earth until the ninth hour. Then the sun was darkened, and the veil of the temple was torn in two. And when Jesus had cried out with a loud voice, he said, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. All the parallel accounts of Matthew, Mark, and Luke concerning the final moments of the Lord on the cross say that shortly before Jesus died, he cried out with a loud voice and then yielded up his spirit. The Apostle John, however, also recorded his last words, It is finished. The expression, it is finished, indicates that Jesus had completed the mission entrusted to him by his Father. Above all, he proclaimed his overwhelming victory over the forces of evil, as the desire of ages tells us. Christ did not yield up his life till he had accomplished the work which he came to do, and with his parting breath he exclaimed, It is finished. John 19.30 The battle had been won. His right hand and his holy arm had gotten him the victory. From the moment the Savior was born in this world, Satan resolved to defeat him. And that is what seemed to be happening while Jesus hung from that cross. If in response to the taunts of the multitude, Jesus had performed a miracle to save himself, today we would be having no hope and without God in the world. Ephesians 2 Verse 12. When he exclaimed, It is finished, the captain of the heavenly host gloriously ended what he had begun and forever secured salvation for all of us in him. In other words, our Lord did not quit mid journey, as happened to a man whose body was found on Mount Kinley in Alaska. Glovis G. Chappell said that the man died sitting at the foot of a tree. In the bark, he had drawn a finger pointing towards the place where he was sitting. It was immediately possible to read an inscription that read, The End of the Road. This man had apparently set out to reach the summit, but when he realized he would not make it, he resigned himself to dying mid-journey. This was not the case with our Lord. Although he was the target of Satan's most fierce attacks, he completed perfectly the mission that had brought him to this world. And because he did not quit mid-journey, you and I celebrate together because his victory is our victory. Let us pray. Thank you, dear Jesus, for completing the journey from the manger to the Calvary in order to save us. Thank you also because your victory ensures that we also complete our journey victoriously. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us today for the devotional. We pray that God blesses you, that his love embraces you, and that he gives you the strength to continue victoriously in our journey to heaven. Have a blessed day. We'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.